Well, as we give you that experience of what it's like to have Christmas in Branson, uh, <laughs> you're going to find out. <laughs> Isn't that right, Lynn? You're going to find oh, out yes. that there is so much waiting for you in your family when you come to Branson. There's some traditions here that go back more than 60 years. My. Mm. And everything, I mean, everything we're talking about, go to explorebranson.com, and you will find, you know, <laughs> lodging, dining, entertainment, shopping. Right. It's all right there. And we want just to kind of give you a taste by meeting some of the folks that make Branson what it is, you know, uh, that experience of entertainment. And we're meeting all kinds of folks. Jay McFerrin from Shepherd of the Hills. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas to you, Jay. <laughs> I always love it when we get together. You're more fun than a barrel of bald knobbers. <laughs> oh, that's saying something. That's that saying is. something, that's right? A great compliment. Yeah. Actually. Oh, if you knew the guys that I do. You... Oh my goodness. Yeah. So, last time we got together, we talked about all the amazing things that are waiting for vacationers to come into Branson at Shepherd of the Hills, but Christmas, my goodness, no exception. You guys pull out. All stops. That's mm -hmm. right. That's right. It's a, it's a challenging time of year from uh, just planning. Uh, we start planning for Christmas, uh, of course, um, back in the summertime. And uh, we've been in rehearsals now for since the beginning of October. And uh, we open tomorrow, uh, tomorrow night with a couple different shows. Um, and so it's a it's a great process. Uh, uh, I was just talking to someone out in the lobby here. The thing about Branson is how the seasons collide. Yes, and they do. it's it's um, you really it, the the challenge from producing shows is to make sure that you don't get in each other's way and still, particularly when you're using the same space. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it's a uh, it's a challenge, but uh, we're excited. We've got uh, uh, we're coming back with uh, shows that are tried and true. Mm -hmm. um, we wrote a show about five years ago called The Shepherd's Christmas Carol. And I love a, that one. It's a lot of fun. It's a it's a retake on uh, the classic by Dickens and with the characters from the novel Shepherd of the Hills and some of the characters are very popular in the outdoor drama too, and so um, uh, that that's uh, that opens tomorrow night, as I said five years worth of that it's a comedy, and um, beautifully lit and uh, sounds great and we've got a wonderful set and just incredible people oh. uh, the the stars uh, are folks that have been in it for for uh, five mm -hmm. years and they know what they're doing yeah. great comedy great comedy so i'm excited about that and then for the second year which opens on thursday night which open uh, for you folks uh, it's uh, tomorrow would be the first in november and that's when our christmas season actually begins and the, on mm -hmm. the second is when uh, we open our second year of A Christmas Story, Gene Shepard's uh, <laughs> wonderful story of uh, the BB gun. The famous Red Rider. The Red Rider BB gun. I yeah. remember my first Red Rider BB. Did you shoot your eye out? I didn't shoot my did eye you out. Did for Christmas? <laughs> I, got, I did get it for Christmas. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I did too, as a matter of fact. Yeah, and, and it's funny you should say that because... We use mine as a prop when we're not. We Aww. don't have the real ones in, in the. You know, we do have wonderful uh, BB guns that uh, that we bought just for this. Have obviously. you noticed those newer ones now are made out of plastic more? Yeah, you know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 You bet. You bet. <laughs> well, um, it, it's a it's a wonderful story. It, people will really relate to it. We we had a great run with it last year. We have seven wonderfully talented local kids. Oh, I know. Uh, oh, I'm telling. We were just talking about it a while ago. Absolutely, they're incredible, a great, great talent, and uh, lucky for us, they're just slightly larger than they were last year. They're still they're, they're <laughs> no growth spurt. No, no, no. You didn't no. have to expand their costumes or anything. Uh, well, in a couple, <laughs> maybe a couple, maybe yeah. a couple. But uh, they're great kids, and they they're they're uh, pros. They are actually uh, professionals, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and that's one thing I've tried to explain to them is that, folks, you are professionals. You're in a very yes. small sector of actors nationwide. You're working now, Jay. These 100%. two shows you just mentioned for Christmas is there a dinner associated oh. with them? There is, yes. Uh, and both of them are uh, a traditional turkey and dressing type of dinner, mm -hmm. and it's uh, wonderful. Uh, they're in our Playhouse Theater, which is newly carpeted, I might oh, add. Oh, goodness. As New of carpet. right now, it's uh, yes, we're, we're very excited about it. We put uh, a lot of time, attention, and money into that theater. 
uh, over the mm-hmm. last couple of years, and it's a nice spot. It's a nice spot. Yes. So we're we're set up for groups. We would love to have uh, church groups and civic organizations. Anybody that's interested to you know to come see our shows, we have a wonderful spot for them. It's a very comfortable uh, venue. Seats about two hundred and seventy. Yeah. Um, very intimate. You know and. Um, the sound is good. It's wow. uh, lit beautifully, as I said. And, and this uh, is an indoor theater, right? Cause I know you uh, do yes. outdoor theaters, but it's a little chilly at nighttime up in the Ozarks. A little, a little. <laughs> we, we, we knock that around every year, too. <laughs> There's a show that they did there years ago before I ever came along mm-hmm. called The uh, Newborn King. And I think that's, uh, oh, the, yeah. that's in the works yeah. for down the road. Now, you don't decorate at Shepherd of the Hills for Christmas. You don't want to see a Christmas tree in your lights, will you? <laughs> <laughs> well, yes. As a matter of fact, you do. Yesterday, it's funny because um, one of our most successful times of year is during our Pumpkin Fest. Mm-hmm. And that runs from about the middle of December through, um, I mean, September, September through the end of October. So um, yesterday, I saw a group of kids in a truck with a trailer, and they had all this uh, fall decor on the way out. Mm-hmm. And there was another truck just, they passed right in the gate <laughs> full of Christmas stuff. So it's a yeah, shot. That's yeah. right. Right. Yeah. So we've been on, uh, we've been working on Christmas now for about six weeks. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Now, is the Trail of Lights, is that what, it, that's what you call it there? Yeah. Yes, it the is. Hills? It's is Branson's it, oldest. Yeah. Is it, is it open now? Uh, no, it'll be open tomorrow night. Okay. Yeah. But so those lights are getting ready to be turned on. Yes, they are. Okay. Yes, they are. And that is what a, I think you told me before, a close to a two mile ride in the Ozarks? Or it is. is. About a mile. Uh-huh. A little yeah, bit. It's, it's a mile and change. <laughs> yeah, you're it's, right. Yeah. Uh, it, it, it basically, um, it, if if you're if you're not in, if you're not familiar with Shepherd of the Hills, um, at one time um, there were tours that were given all over the property. This has mm-hmm. been several years ago, but those those roads are still there, mm-hmm. and uh, those roads go back into the into the property into the woods down behind the outdoor theater. It's beautiful down there. Yeah. The, the 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 forest has grown up over its natural canopy mm-hmm. over the the roads, and those roads are are the ones that uh, are decorated. And then the, the roads that lead down to the outdoor theater and back out to are all uh, decorated. So it's it's uh, it's really uh, very entertaining, and it's uh, synchronized with beautiful track. Oh, yes. Yeah. It's not all 160 acres, but darn near <laughs> all of it is it. decor. That's yes, right. Uh, you know, what about, too, I know there's the uh, other attractions, you know. Uh, you can do the the zip line and, right or is that still happening at the christmas time <laughs> uh it is as a matter of fact the the outdoor the outdoor adventure park is uh open and did you get some kind of an award something that just got <laughs> Years in something a row. recently right. yeah yes thank you yeah uh it voted america's favorite yes uh, number one number one mm-hmm. nationwide and uh we we uh that's a real feather in our cap like, can we stop there a second lynn because i don't think sometimes when i talk about branson <laughs> people if they haven't ever been they think well maybe a small town you know in southwest Missouri, and, and it is a small town. So, but there's some accolades yes. that hang on our walls it, all don't over Branson. Don't. Yes, you know we have for 11 years. Uh, TripAdvisor has named us one of the 25 best destinations in America, and certainly the uh, award-winning adventure park out at Shepherd of the Hills. Three years in a row, USA Today yep. named that number one. So, adventure park is open all the way through Christmas. Yes, it is. Um, um, I think if it's below forty, you can't or something like right, that. Right, right. There's know. some. There's some. Yeah, on the the roller coaster, there is some. There's. I think it's below thirty some odd degrees. Mm-hmm. It's a little mm-hmm. uh, because of the the uh, hydraulics and yeah. that's such as that. We want to make sure everything's working properly. <laughs> yes, we do. <laughs> but the uh, and the zip line uh, closes. The the zip rider closes. Mm-hmm. Uh, that's the long one off the top of Inspiration Tower mm-hmm. in cold weather. And how high is that? Well, you you come off. It's 140 feet where you come off the the tower. The tower is 240 feet, and it's a it's a rush. Let me tell you, man. <laughs> Got 50 miles an hour, isn't it? Uh, yeah. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. How yeah. long are you on that rush? Uh, about a minute. About a minute. <laughs> about a minute. It's, it's a uh, fast minute, right? Yeah, it's a fast one. It sure is. I yeah, it's it. wonderful though. The way it's designed, it's a lot of fun. Great for all ages. Okay, sure Jay. Is. Our friends are just waiting to come to Branson, waiting to come to Shepherd of the Hills, and experience all of the great Christmas you have for us here. How can they learn more? How can we get tickets? What can we do? I encourage you to go to the shepherd of the hills dot com. Mm-hmm. Uh, if you put, if you go to shepherd of the hills dot com, you're going to get all kinds of stuff because shepherd of the hills has been here 
um, you know, it's, well, this is what it's started 1907. it all. It's what yep. started it <laughs> all. So yep. um, there's a lot of Shepherd of the Hills tagged to everything in this area. So the the Shepherd of the Hills dot com, and it's very comprehensive. It's a wonderful website. It is, and it uh, we have some we have some sharp folks that stay on top of it, and yeah. it's a it's a good place to go. It gives you all the information you want. Jay McFerrin, Merry Christmas! Thanks for joining Boss Radio Network. Thank you very much again. Thank you.